Hey guys, it's Holly, and over the last couple of months, I have been invited to test out LEGO 2K Drive Early, and it has been an absolute blast. Thanks to 2K, I was able to go over to San Francisco and test out the game at their headquarters with a bunch of other LEGO creators, which was so much fun. And then last week, I went into Sydney and tried out the game again and got to play with it a little bit more. So today, I thought I would share with you some of my favorite aspects of the game. If you follow me on my second channel or even on Twitch, you would have heard that I really enjoy gaming. I just don't get a lot of time to do it these days, so it's been an absolute blast for me to go and play a racing game which has always been one of my favorites and also it's one that's themed around Lego. I grew up on the Lego games and it is so nice to have something that feels incredibly refreshing and isn't the typical platformer that we would see from a Lego game. 2K have done such a good job at keeping the Lego charm and putting it into a game that feels very fresh and also allows for so much creativity which as a whole has really been my favorite part of this game. I have spent so much time in the garage just playing around with it, testing out things, building with bricks and just the amount of customization that is available is amazing and also the potential for more gets me really excited. I know how Lego works so it's fun to try and work out how to actually build a car because I'm not the greatest but they also have a bunch of Lego models included in the game including this Speed Champions car as well as a bunch of creator and city cars and of course they've even got their own fun custom designs including this chicken car which I tried to replicate myself out of Lego. Uh, didn't go too well but if you want to see how I did that, I made an entire video on it. But it has been so much fun to play around with. And when I was there last week, I set myself the challenge of building three different cars, one for each vehicle type. Firstly, the on-road vehicle, the off-road vehicle, and then lastly, a little boat. So first up, I really wanted to try and test out and make myself my own little hot pink convertible sports car, Malibu Barbie looking thing. And you know, I tried. It doesn't look incredibly clean or sleek, but... I, I think I did a good enough job. I mean, it looks like a car and really that's all I could hope for at the end of the day. And just being able to drive around in a hot pink car throughout Bricklandia makes me really, really excited. This car also handled incredibly well when I was testing it around the test track and even just playing a couple of races and driving around Big Butte, it really, really held up. Next up, I really wanted to try and make an off-road vehicle. And my plan for this was to take Lego Star Wars and bring it to the world of Lego 2K Drive by making this like small cartoon looking Thai fighter replica. Uh, did, again, did it work? Not necessarily. I think it turned out pretty good though. I even added some stickers, put a giant number four on the back for May the 4th. Look, it's cute. It functions. Does it handle as well as the Barbie car? Also, no, but I had an amazing time doing this and also got to experiment with some of the Technic bricks and seeing how they worked in the game. And it is so close to actual Lego. It's really, really cool. Lastly, I took a page out of Lego Joey's book and took the brick separator and made it into a vehicle, which this time it was going to be my boat. I mean, just the shape of a boat, I feel like lends itself really well to a brick separator vehicle. And this actually ended up being my favorite model. Is it because I'd had a bit of practice with the other two beforehand? So I, you know, my building skills were really good. Maybe, but also I think it's just so simple, so meta and so funny. But besides creating my own vehicles, another one of my favorite aspects has definitely been the multiplayer aspect. Online multiplayer is finally in a LEGO game. It has taken such a long time to get there, but luckily 2K have done that for us and it has been so much fun. Firstly, I got to compete against Emma Saurus, Brick and Nick and Stacey and I didn't do well. However, when I competed against a bunch of gaming streamers, tech streamers and just overall collectible content creators, I actually end up winning. So, you know, just a little flex there. I was really proud of myself and I ended up winning the Speed Champion set. So, you know, go me, I did great. Besides that though, I've gotten to test out a bunch of the arcade-like mini games, including a red light, green light type of game, which I did not understand at first and I kept getting blown up. It was really quite tragic, but it's been really cool to test out this game in its early stages, as well as give feedback. Like I'm really excited to see how the garage continues to grow. I feel like there are so many Lego pieces that could still be added to allow for so much more customization and it's just really, really fun to be a part of for me. I'm really excited now that the game is out to actually be able to play with more people rather than just when I go to these events, which is gonna be super cool. But more than that, I am really excited to see what you guys create in the garage. That is definitely the highlight of the game for me. I have had so much fun and also just being able to race with my creations and test them out has been an absolute blast. But those are some of my favorite aspects from LEGO 2K Drive. And if you wanna check out my chicken car in person, I will be bringing him to Brickwell Chicago, which is really exciting. But otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel down below. And thank you so much again for 2K for this amazing opportunity. I have had the absolute best time.